Alright everyone, welcome back to another BTD6 video. We're going to be doing the daily challenges. You guys have 17 hours to do them yourself if you care about them. We've got one called Alpha by player 1235155 on Cubism Easy Standard. And we've got one called Hello There by Frosty. Flooded Valley Hard Deflation and I believe it's only one round. So let's have a look at Alpha by player. All right. So it looks, it, it, it looks, it looks like a very druid heavy challenge. Believe it or not, some of these, uh, some of these druid combos can actually beat chimps mode fairly easily. Here I shall remain. All right. We'll start off with Oban. Um, turn off the hero audio just because I feel like. Ever since I got my new computer, I've had to, like, reset. See? Just like that. Um, I've had to reset all of my settings for every single game I play. For Google Chrome. Just everything where I have very specific settings just instantly got reset. And now that i got my new PC, like, it's, it's nothing major to, like, fix everything. But uh, it can be a bit tedious, like, not having auto start on. Having the heroes yelling at my face every time they uh, place some brambles on the track. Alright, so because we're dealing with druids and the only way druids can pop camo is with a village, we're gonna start off with a spike factory at the back here just to deal with camos for a little while while we actually set up a, a decent enough village for us to handle them later on. Alright, but... I honestly do use this strategy quite a bit in chimps mode. Uh, if like my usual strategy of just getting a bunch of different fifth tiers doesn't work, this is usually my backup strategy going with Oban, bunch of druids, getting Poplust, getting Avatar of Wrath, and absolutely destroying with it. Alright, um, we want to put the village relatively close by to Oban, if we possibly can. Wow, that's... Villages are just huge in this game, aren't they? There we go, get the regrow blocker. Now we can save up for uh, radar scanner, and then we can start placing druids because then they can start popping every single type of balloon. Okay. And Oban's pretty good at handling on his own. Plus, we've got the spike factory back here, and they're gonna have to deal with Oban a maximum of like one, two, three, four, five-ish times. So it's not like we're going to be losing anytime soon. So Oban can just uh, do his thing. I wonder if the idea is to try and get an Avatar of Wrath before round 60. That'd be pretty interesting. Let's see if I can do that with these banana farms, maybe. First things first, get the radar scanner priorities. Okay, go get ourselves a radar scanner, come on. Come on, there we go, okay. So now Oban can pop camos and leads. He can't pop purple balloons, but that's fine because druids can. Alright, let's place our first one. Let's put him right around, ooh. Can we fit him in? Uh, I guess not. Alright, we'll put our first one here. And obviously go bottom path. And we'll mix it with the middle, because we're not allowed to go leads at the top. Which is a bit of a shame. Well, lightning, sorry. We're not allowed to go lightning druids for some reason. Um, will that be a problem? I don't think so, because Oban can still deal the lead damage. Yeah, no, that shouldn't be too bad. Alright, now that we got our first druid up, as well as our lovely little village, let's start to work on a banana farm. Ooh, okay, we can, we can deal with that, we can deal with that. Let's put our first banana farm, like, here. Doesn't really matter where we put it, but... Just to make it easy, place it at the bottom of the screen group them all up together, so hopefully I don't have to move my mouse too much. 
Okay, there we go. And I must admit, for all the love and attention I give the banana farm, I don't often use it. Either because most of the time I'm doing challenges. Which, like, let's face it, for most challenges, they're really difficult if they're single round challenges. And at the same time, like, if they're not single round challenges, it's just way too easy to save up extra money. Especially if you get given the banana farm, so I don't use it all, all that often. And in Odysseys, like, I want to try and do them without banana farms, just because banana farms are like the, the easiest way to just turn any map into zero difficulty level at all completely. Alright, so we've got our first mob coming up, which could be a bit of a, could be a bit of a struggle, but I think we'll be fine. Now that we're getting things like pop lust, we can throw down another druid pretty quickly here. Where do we want him? Like here? Yeah, that'll be good. So essentially, you just want to buy a whole bunch of Poplust Druids, keep them next to each other, have Oban nearby somewhere so that he can also buff their abilities, and also have a village nearby so that they can see camo balloons, essentially making them able to pop pretty much anything. And I guess we'll see how well it does against a Moab in a couple of rounds. Let's get ourselves more banana farms. Because we're greedy. Go. All right. So, um, down, down to the business, down to the business part of the video. I, uh, I was thinking about starting up, obviously, something to play other than BTD6. Now, I'm not sure if you guys really wanted Minecraft back, specifically like the Pixelmon series. I could go back to doing that, it just might take me a bit of a while to set up. And so, in the meantime, I was thinking I could either play something casual, like, uh, like something like, um, Orcs Must Die. I don't know if you, how many of you guys have heard of that, but Orcs Must Die is a pretty fun game. It's kind of like BTD6 in the fact that you have to set up traps to sort of stop enemies from getting through, but you yourself are also... A... Okay, let's put it this way. To explain Orcs Must Die, it's essentially the exact same as BTD6, except you control your hero, and you can run around the map to stop and help out at any point in time with your traps. So it's like, a, it's, it's a third-person shooter, tower defense game, which is quite fun. Honestly, I feel like it should get a lot more recognition. But, um, yeah, I, I could also play that as well. Or, while I'm still setting up Minecraft, if you guys really want that. Or, if you just want to see what, uh, Orcs Must Die is all about, we can start it up, see how it goes, and, uh, yeah, if you guys really want me to play more, then I will. If not, I might just finish, like, I don't know, the campaign, maybe, and then we can uh, just take it from there. Alright, so we're just getting a whole bunch more pop lasts up here. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to afford the, the big one. So I'm not going to push too hard for it, but essentially this is the strategy, and it works insanely well. Especially if you get uh, different types of druids in here. This game mode has specifically restricted uh, the top and middle path druid, but they're not half bad. If you go top path, you can get the lightning bolts, which are amazing DPS for uh, ceramics. Um, and if you go the full top path, you can also get the whirlwinds, or the storms, which just blow balloons back. So handy for waves like 63, 78, etc. Uh, just where there's a lot of ceramics that could get in your face and blow you up. Um, and the middle path, it's alright. It's more situational and more money orientated, but it's, uh, it's honestly not a bad pick either. 
but maybe not if you're using a popless strategy. Alright, but we seem to be flying through this, and I think we might actually be able to afford Avatar of Wrath at some point. Which is pretty cool. I didn't think we'd be able to before round 60, but clearly these banana farms have been working hard. Alright. But yeah, just, just look at the insane popping power these guys get when they're near open. When they get uh, an MIB with them so they can pop any type of balloon that they want. It's just crazy. And if you don't... Actually, I should have probably yeah, brought this up beforehand. Um, if you don't know what Poplust does, essentially... It boosts the attack speed and pierce for other druids in the radius and can stack up to five times on any druid. And the Druid of the Wrath ability makes it so that they gain attack speed during the round as long as the druid is attacking balloons. So essentially, if there's balloons to attack, these guys will only get better and better, especially because they're all clustered together. And as you can see, they're all giving each other the five times pop lust boost which just makes them even faster and even stronger. But look at that, ceramics just get absolutely shredded. All right, before we go up against this, let's get ourselves an Avatar of Wrath, just to see how great he is. There we go, and gone. <laughs> uh, and somehow Oban was still the, uh, the hero there. Alright, well there you go, that is Alpha by player 1235155. Now let's move on to the Advanced Challenge. Hello there by Frosty. And yes, I have to pronounce it like that. Alright, so, we get three monkeys, these are the restrictions, and we're allowed to choose our own hero. Okay. What are the rules? Moab speed is at 181%, balloon speed and ceramic health or well, ceramic health matters, but balloon speed doesn't. Uh, Moab health is at 190%. Everything's camo. You get 76,000 starting cash, and you just have to beat round 40. How hard could it be? All right, let's. You know what? Maybe, maybe. You know what? We'll try it with Oban. Why not? Maybe Oban's not even the, the key here. Um. My first suspicion was perhaps a crossbow master and I mean we get a sniper but how good would the sniper be not that great they limited all the good upgrades um, okay how about what about subs what can we get with subs ballistic missile ballistic missiles pretty solid I think we'll get that we'll get a ballistic missile up here um, what else could be good for us here? Um, ooh, they're giving us a balloon solver. They're probably doing that just because we can't actually reach very easily. We could reach to some regard, but I wonder if they want us to... Uh... Do they want us to activate the dam? Maybe. Come on. I forget how to do it, but... I honestly feel like there is a procedure for it. Is it one, two, three? One, two, three. One. Is that it? I honestly don't remember how this works. There was a very specific pattern for you to get in here. There we go. Okay. So now we can remove this. Oh, it... That just destroyed my uh, dart monkey. Whoops. Uh, that's fine, though. What is it? Is it the middle path? I think it's the middle path. Okay, yeah, it is the middle path. Alright, so we can kind of get the dart monkey back. He won't be as great as he was before. Yeah, not at all. Um, but yeah, I guess he's back. Oh, I suppose I could have done that and put him further out. Okay. That's a shame. Alright, let's, let's just see how this goes. Why not? 
Okay, so terribly. That's fine. That was expected. Uh, we'll put the dart monkey in a much better location. And honestly, I feel like it might be able to do this by itself. Let's try it. Ooh, okay. So obviously the trees get in the way there, so that's fine. What about up here? At the very start. And then we can have our submarine over here. Um, trip guns is actually pretty decent damage. Let's go for that. And then... Why not? Any sniper is a decent-ish sniper. Go three at the top, two in the middle, put them on strong. Alright, let's go with this. There we go. Oh, they're camouflaged. How did I forget about that? Um, yeah. So we instead need middle path. No. Maybe. We'll try it. <laughs> I just cannot make my mind up today. Alright, and then we'll put the sub here. Alright, let's try this again. Come on. That time it just took 10 years to pop. Alright. How to get this done? I mean, I suppose we could employ a similar strategy to what we did with uh, Neil's challenge. We put ready to fly. We'll put Etienne on. That way, when we jump in here, I wonder if you could just use a single hero because Etienne's pretty pretty solid. Like he's not the greatest, but get him down to that one. So everybody can see camo balloons. Uh, we'll put the dart monkey back here. Again. And we will also put down the sniper monkey again. With the good upgrades. Just to be sure. And then we'll pump everything else into Etienne that we can. There you go. Alright. So, let's try it again. Ooh, okay. Not, not, not the most ideal start, won't lie, but not terrible. There we go. Hmm. I wonder. Can we do this? I didn't mean for that, but can I now do this? No. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Alright. We will throw that strategy out the window then. We almost had it. I could smell it. Actually, you know what? Maybe don't even place Admiral Brickle right there. Maybe place her back here. Where she can save up her mines a little bit more and deal a little bit more damage. Come on, here we go. And then put the Energizer sub right to where it's meant to be. All right, so let's take you out. Go. Submerge. That was even worse. Beautiful. Okay, let's you know what? I think I know what to do. It's squashing time! I think Pat is right. It is squashing time. Because a fun little fact about Pat, if you didn't know, he can be placed in water. So, if we can... We don't need too much damage. Okay, so here's the plan. Dart Monkey up front deals hefty amount of damage to the Moab as it comes out. Right? Hefty amount of damage down. That's pretty solid. 
Pat comes in on the sidelines here and just blows the Moab up. 100% just explodes it, right? And then later on, once it's into ceramics, it just gets energized to finish it off. All right, let's try this. Slap, 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 that did nothing. Nice. Okay, new idea. Pat, I trust you completely. Really? You didn't swipe at all? That seems kind of ridiculous. I could have sworn you would have uh, at least attempted something with that. Ooh, we can't afford the Energizer. Interesting. That's fine though. Why would I even submerge that? Ooh. Hello. That could be very useful to us. I think I've just figured it out. Let's put Pat way down here. Let's get that. And what does Bloontonium Reactor do? Nearby water monkeys. That's what we like to see. So... I believe this should be the solution. Oh yeah. Easy clap. Boom! There it is. It took a while. Not gonna lie, it took a while. But we got it. So there you go, there's... Hello there. Bye Frosty. Okay. That took much longer than I expected, but still, it was quite satisfying to get that in the end. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.